This is still the best way to break down logs and get them sized down so they fit on our mill. We're going to do a couple logs for demonstration purposes and then we'll talk briefly about the costs involved and some other methods out there for breaking down large trees. Sawdust everywhere. Okay, welcome to another log ripping video. I've got a whole pile of logs to rip. Mike's working away at putting the logs on the mill. Uh, I've got to get them sized down. So we're going to be running these in half. Most of these will just be split in half with a chainsaw. Uh, I've done this before. This is just another video. It does pretty well. So some suggestions have been to drive wedges in, make an initial cut, drive some wedges in. I just don't think it'll split where I want it to split if I do that. And uh, sounds like a lot of effort swinging the ax. I prefer the chainsaw method. Pretty easy to just hold the throttle down for me. There are other ways we could do this. Obviously the best method would be some sort of mill, band mill or chainsaw mill, that's just big enough that you could put these logs on. Uh, it's just kind of not economical to come up with that for, you know, essentially 10 logs. I'm relatively quick at this with a chainsaw just from years of doing it. That is almost a negative thing because it makes me feel like I can just do it with a chainsaw. And there's no reason that I should even build a mill or acquire a bigger mill, so. That's kind of where we're at. I'll probably just run a couple cuts with the chainsaw and then use the big 966 to turn things around. So much sawdust. Now that you guys have a taste for what's going on here, that was just a quick demonstration of what I'm doing. I've set another log up here and we can do another one for you. But let's provide a little bit more information as to why I'm doing it this way and not using a mill. Uh, we are running a business here. So because this is a business, we need to look at the costs associated with doing it this way. So let me just outline how long that took me. So including all the setup and, you know, setting up a camera too. It takes me under an hour to do one log, including rolling the log around and uh, two cuts. For each cut, I sharpen the saw and I fill up the tank. So it uses about two tanks of gas, which I mean, gas is going up. Like fuel prices in Canada are through the roof right now, as they are probably the rest of the world as well. But two tanks of gas is not very much. We're looking at three, four dollars tops in bar oil and fuel and then there's the cost of the equipment chainsaws are pretty cheap thousand dollars gets you a chainsaw bars chains those things start to add up after a while but let's not look too hard into it versus if i was to buy a sawmill that would do this sort of thing you know we're talking fifty thousand dollars and that wouldn't have hydraulics on it or anything that would just be a, a wide sawmill so it'd still be using the loader to handle the logs Doing it with the chainsaw is really affordable and uh, actually relatively fast. If you were to compare the speeds between what I'm doing and a chainsaw mill, it would be about the same. Maybe even faster doing it this way, depending on the day and how accurate my cuts are. If you had a bandsaw mill, that would be quite a bit faster than a chainsaw mill, but uh, quite unaffordable for what I'm doing just because you know it's only 10 logs a year. If we're doing 200 log a year, then yeah, it would be time to consider a bandsaw mill. But for now, <clears throat> I enjoy the ripping process. I've laid the log out with the flute. There's a little gap there, a little natural valley in the log on the far end. And uh, I'm gonna just try and take it down the center, aim for the heart. And I just cut right to that heart line and then I stop. I don't wanna overcut or anything. And then I'll roll it over 180 degrees of the log and then I'll try and match the cut that I made on my first cut with the tip of my bar somewhere in there. And usually there's enough tension on these things that they just pop open like the last one did. You didn't catch it because it was time lapsed but uh, I'll try and slow down the, uh, the final cut on this log for you. It's pretty fun.
Hey, Bobby, what do you think of that? What do you think of that log? Is it a good log? Do you want to jump up on it? Yeah, you do. That's a good boy. Sit. Sit. Good boy. Well, if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and check out our playlist. It's done quite a bit over the years, so go check that out here. All right, safety first. We're going to cut these logs in half. Right, Bobby? Yeah. <laughs>